Yesterday, we discussed about the wonderful presence of God in any man's life. Changes the equation in your favor permanently. Jeremiah 39 to 11 to 14 9. 11 Now Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon had given these orders about Jeremiah through Nebuzaradan, commander of the imperial guard. 12 Take him and look after him. Don't harm him but do for him whatever he asks. 13 So Nebuzaradan the commander of the guard. Nebuchadnezzar a chief officer. Nurgul Sharezer, a high official, and all the other officers of the king of Babylon. 14 sent and had Jeremiah taken out of the courtyard of the guard. They turned him over to Gedaliah, son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, to take him back to his home. So he remained among his own people. It takes the presence of God in your life for those who ordinarily would have been your adversaries, not only to befriend you but also submit and bow to your demands with favor, compassion, all the way at your service. Genesis 27 to 29 NIV. 29 may nations serve you and peoples bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and may the sons of your mother bow down to you. May those who curse you be cursed and those who bless you be blessed. Genesis 40 to 26 NIV. 6. Now Joseph was the governor of the land, the person who sold grain to all its people. So, when Joseph's brothers arrived, they bowed down to him with their faces to the ground. What made the brothers of Joseph bow down with their faces to the ground to him? The presence of God. When the spirit of man departs from the body, he is pronounced dead. have left is carcass, which is buried. Remember God is a spirit. You are also a spirit being, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Once your spirit is disconnected from his, you are nothing more than a carcass, which the enemy finds very easy and comfortable to prey on. Colosseans to 19 knives. 19 they have lost connection with the head, from whom the whole body, supported and held together by its ligaments and sinews, grows as God causes it to grow. One Corinthians six seventeen nine seventeen. But whoever is united with the Lord is one with Him in spirit. Hosea four seventeen nine seventeen. Ephraim is joined to idols. Leave him alone. May you not be joined unto idols. Enjoy your day. Aod.